Today on The Real. On Girl Chat, kids cry. The hungry cry. <laughs> and it's a kid palooza at The Real. As they drop the beat. And show off their talents for Cinco de Mayo. Amira and Kayla in the house. Plus, a Mommy and Me fashion show that's just too darn cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Gosh. Then Alyssa Milano stops by on The Real. a company called Little Clubheads, and Little Clubheads is located in New York City. And Little Clubheads is a family dance party for kids, so you want us to be the resident DJs. So now we DJ for thousands of people. Yeah, they are so beautiful. Awesome. And guess what? They all types of cuteness. Now I hear y'all stay very booked and busy, honey, hitting up the DJ circuit. <laughs> like, what kind of venues do you guys play? We DJ'd at the New York Knicks game at Madison Square Garden. Oh, yeah. You gotta stay booked. We DJ'd at Kids Fashion Week. Yeah. yeah. Oh. New York City Fashion Week. Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, we DJing now at the Rio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are so I actually cute. got to meet the both of you at Kids Fashion Week in New York. And when I saw you guys, I knew that you had, that we like just Aww. had to have you yeah. on the show. You guys are so talented. More than just being beautiful, you're actually really great at what you do. Oh, good. So, um, <laughs> I had fun at Kids Fashion Week in New York. How was it for you guys? Did you guys enjoy it? Yes. Oh. <laughs> That's so, a twin thing. I love I how love you guys it. talk together at the same time. I'm a twin too. I have a twin sister, and her name is Tia. So, <laughs> do you <laughs> Do you guys like working together? Yes. You do? Mm -hmm. Which one is the bossiest of the two? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. They're being very careful. Good answer. <laughs> Just don't say anything. No. You guys are beautiful. Amira and Kayla, thank you for being here. And you yes. guys are going to play for us all so long. They're going to be here the whole show. OK, are you guys ready for some girl chat? Girl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, first up, JetBlue is getting some attention for their recent promotion. Mm -hmm. The airline will be offering 25% discounts to passengers traveling from New York's JFK Airport to Long Beach, California, every time a baby cries during the flight. Really? That's correct, you guys. Wow. Each time they cry, you're going to get 25% off. So, if it's four babies crying... That's a free flight. What? Yeah. It's very generous. Uh, you think? Yeah. So, Adrian, <laughs> you're you're on planes a lot. Yeah, and, and I and do the commute from New York yeah, to LA. Yeah, it's a all long, the time. it's a long flight. So, what do you think of JetBlue's promotion? I think that I'll be flying JetBlue very soon. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, I'm gonna be walking down the aisles pinching babies yeah. like this flight is gonna be free. I'm, yes. like, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yes. 
Take that bottle out for just four seconds. Girl, I'm trying to get a free flight. Like, like take that bobo out, whatever you gotta do. I want the four, that's it, four yeah, babies crying at a four times. Free. Well, shoot, I know a lot of babies, you only need one baby and they're crying like the whole flight. I'm serious, it's true. Except for Araya. My daughter, Araya, I swear yeah, to God, you guys cry. have traveled with her. Yeah, she good, never baby. cries. She's always, she's always great. You never even notice that she's on the flight. I know. I just have a question. Do you think this, this will happen if toddlers start crying? Well, it's actually babies, and I encourage people I to go actually see the um, <laughs> I <tried>. YouTube video <laughs> online. Go see it because it really, they're really just trying to encourage people to show them that it doesn't matter if a baby cry. You know, it's, it's a baby. So, mm -hmm. you know, calm yourself down. Let them sure. cry. Put on your headphones. Wait. Go to sleep. Have a drink. Do something. Yeah, but yeah. don't take it out on the baby. Right, right. I think that's what they're trying to promote. Friend, look. <clears throat> Now, I hear you, and I'm a mama, so I'm a little sensitive, too. Yes. And I'm going to let your baby cry for a second, but not the whole flight. <laughs> yeah. We do just have to remember, though, guys, if a baby is crying, we have to remember their tiny bodies can't handle air pressure yes. like adults can. And sometimes you're going to have a colicky yes. baby. You just don't for know. Six hours, what a colicky yeah. baby cries all the time, Taylor. Okay. I've never been but, the type to really mind if they cry, because I got headphones and an imagination. Yeah. I just go I'm somewhere saying. else with my mind. But, but when they kick your seat... That's something well, like that's that. No baby. That's, that's, that's a toddler. That's a toddler. Yes. That's that's a toddler. A toddler. I think there's a difference yeah. between, yeah, like, I have a sister that has two kids, and I know the embarrassment sometimes it can cause yeah. a mommy. You it's feel like, so bad if your baby's crying. it's harder on the mom. Yeah, and they feel like, oh, my gosh, my baby's crying, and it's disturbing people. You never want to make that mom feel bad. Absolutely. But there is a difference between that and a mom that isn't... Um, Present. Present. Doesn't and care. Maybe kids just it. running up and down the aisle, yes. acting nuts. That's when you absolutely can look at that mama like, can you please parent your child? Oh, that's, yes. that's... oh but you got to look out, though, because that can start... The, like, if, if a kid's kicking my seat, I usually... I wait for mom not to look, and then I go between the seats, the cracks, <laughs> and I go... No, knock it off. No. And that usually gets them because they get real you scared. You get me. You, <laughs> I've got to wait for mama not to look, though. Well, I wish you yes, would. Don't wait for me like that. Yeah. But you know what? No, just make sure the mama doesn't see yeah, you because yeah. mama bears are mama bears. But that's they why will. I turn around, look at the mama and the toddler, and like, stop kicking my seat. Yeah, sure. And I'm going to sit next to you I every time. To mama. Yes, uh, that's Aiden. my son. That's not my that? child. That's <laughs> my son. That is so funny. Um, Twenty-five yeah. percent off the show. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we all stop. We're like, <laughs> what is that sound? No, because when you hear a baby, baby you crying, get nervous. You like, wait a minute, is We're he okay? okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, I think that's an okay cry. Yeah, yeah. Just, you he's know. fine. <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> but, okay. How do you get to the point where crying don't bother you, though? You just get used to it. What? After a while. You do. No. Because I know the differences of the cries. Uh, there are different the cries. Do? There's the whining, annoying cry, and that's the one you usually ignore. <laughs> no, you do. That's how you get them to stop doing it. Really? Yeah. There's also yeah. the, uh, the tired cry. There's the tired What'd cry. What does that sound like? How do you know the difference? <laughs> I notice kids when they start like getting clever, they do the pretend cry. Can oh, you do that? Oh, Aiden does, does that too. That's the only thing that's cry where the tears don't come out. Yeah. coming out. That was it's like. <laughs> and I, there's also the one I can really relate to is the hungry cry. <laughs> <laughs> It's a hungry cry. I only get that one fake cry. That's all I get. You are so Love, you know blessed. Fake cry? No, this is the fake cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the eye open. Yes, Ooh. they want to see if you're looking. That's all I get. <laughs> And then, of that's course, amazing. there's a sick cry. If yes, it, you know, the that's yeah, the yeah. one you like. But okay. you eventually learn the, the cries. I yeah. know, they yeah. cry when wow. they're sick. They do? Yes, Tay Tay. <laughs> what that sound like? It's. Well, that's a, it's that's a, a sad one, yeah. It's that's sad? The, yeah, that one's when they're really, really crying. Like, what does right. it sound like, though? I don't want to do that one, because it's so sad. <laughs> it's that bad? Yeah. OK. <laughs> well, since it's kid day after real, we should probably talk about a good rule to live by, the five-second rule. I don't know nothing about this rule. Did <laughs> yes. y'all know that the five-second rule is actually true? I know. No. Lies. Yes. Lies and lies. 
But, no. okay, they said it depends on what the food is and where it was dry. That is true. No. No, is it is not true. Yes, it and is. No, two it's NASA not. scientists explained that the five second rule is actually the 30 second moisture and surface rule. Basically, if your food isn't too moist and isn't on the floor longer than five seconds, then you find you can go ahead and eat that. Yes. I, I can't believe you're sitting by this yes. room table. So you have two little is. ones, and I, I cannot believe that you go by this five-second rule. So are you going to teach them that? No, I don't teach toddlers or kids that. They just naturally believe in it. Yeah, they do. They literally <laughs> will find something, am I right? right. They will yeah. find something on the floor, yeah. and before you get to them, it's already in their mouth. Yeah. Or I, do you find yourself constantly going, what, what is that in your mouth? Yeah. What, what, what okay. is that? And then they're still, like, chewing on it? Aiden finds stale Cheerios all why, the time. Why do they find that? I why don't do they know. find the Cheerio that's in the, the couch crack. underneath? Like, yes. Well, how do they know that? Do you go know. under the stove? No. He hasn't Mine go under the yet. stove. <laughs> Mine go, go around the no. refrigerator. Yes. Listen, I'm telling you, I have found like dinosaurs in Logan's yes. mouth. Like it's ridiculous. Yes. I'm serious. I got the kiss it up to God rule. Like if it's something I really want to eat, no. and it drops, kiss it up to God. Oh my God. I can't. Okay, that I don't do so food, true. but okay, y'all ready for this? What do you do? Have y'all, huh? the only thing that I say have is a five second rule. It's like a pill, like a Tylenol <laughs> or <laughs> your blood you pressure pill, your sugar pill. You drop that thing on the floor, you're like, ooh, I, I only got seven left. That's true. <laughs> Do you eat it? <laughs> that is true. Right? But when you do that, do you ever bust the polish, though? When you pick up that towel and all, you just kind of polish it. What? Yes. yes. You don't pick up your pills and, and eat yeah, it? Yeah, wipe it off. You know, you try to wipe off the dirt. That I'm weird, and I don't care about germs. Yeah. Dude, she's I got a five-minute rule. I don't care. I'm not <laughs> kidding you. Oh. It could chill there. Like, there's things that have fallen here. I'll go to pick up. They're like, all of them are diving in. Like, Adrian, no! Yes. <laughs> I'm like, it's That's all true. good. Like, That's why I you can't. have a great immune system, though. I do. Although it's very rare. Yeah, you know, I'm not feeling very well right now. now. I know, but... But I get sick, like, once a year. Yeah. This is my, my one sick currently. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I believe that if you build up your immune system, you won't get sick as much. They well, actually dirt. say germs are good for you because you build your immune system, you no. actually learn how to handle them, and you get stronger. But not all germs. Very tough. Like on the, on the airplane. Yeah, don't, no, don't, don't pick up anything if you drop it in the bathroom no, or anything never like that. that. I've seen disgusting. them pick peanuts off the floor. Uh, in the bathroom? No, on, oh, the plane. on the plane. On the plane? Unless land on her seat, she feel like that's her seat. Nobody sat in the seat before oh, her. Like, I'm like, dog, that's nasty. <laughs> it ain't that serious. They have plenty more peanuts. Now, you know I love a good sequel, and Hollywood is at it again with the sequel for one of the best movies of all time, Space Jam. Yes. <laughs> you guys, Space Jam 2 will star LeBron James. Yeah! Now, if you guys remember, LeBron got his acting chops in shape recently when he appeared in my girl Amy Schumer's comedy, Trainwreck. Did you guys see that? Yes. Yes. Oh my God, he was hilarious in it. Now, Jeannie, do you think LeBron James can fill Michael Jordan's uh, Nikes, pretty much? 100,000 Michael Jordan's percent. Jordans? Come on. LeBron James is seriously one of the coolest and sickest players out there right now, and Super I'm so talented. excited about this part. <laughs> so proud of you for this. But this got me to thinking about sequels. Why do I picture, what if we had a sequel? Like, we were to star in a movie. Yeah. I would want us to be the sequel to Clueless. Oh, Don't my you God. Think, oh my Don't God. you think we kill it? Yes. That, that would, would be amazing. amazing. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. Yes. Well, would I be a principal? What? <laughs> Well, I don't know. We guys, Mrs. Guys. No, that's you're not gonna be Mrs. Guys. We can make it she so cool. We can make it all that. We got a vast improvement. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I, used I to love it. Love what do you guys movie. think? Like, would you guys want to see a sequel of a movie today? <sighs> what about this? Spice Girls in Spice World? No. Oh God. Yes. 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 What about? Well, all right. Oh. Uh, what? You know I love rom coms. Yeah. What? Yes. What about a sequel to When Harry Met Sally? Yes. Right. Uh, that would be amazing. Because I don't want to play in it. 
Yeah, but I'm not gonna us. see no, another. No, I mean in yeah. general. Yeah. Or just, I would love to see sequels uh, to romantic comedies because yeah. they're always talking about the infatuation stage. Yeah. I want to know what happens when the relationship like, gets yes. real. How about this? Yeah. You know? You're right. right. You want to know why I come? Why I come? Why I come is because I, what happened to Julia Roberts and it Pretty Women? Woman. Did she have yes. a baby? Yes. Did they fall in love? Right. Did, where, uh, did, I mean, what happened? Like, did they get married? They, yes. Did, uh, yeah. I agree. Do you guys think I'm, he married her? Yeah. Yes. He better. Come well, on. Well, yeah, he yeah, he romanced her at the end. Yeah, so he, he won that probably, but He probably did. He won that. He won that. <laughs> That's why we want a sequel. We want to yeah, know. I, but you know what? I want a sequel to Driving Miss Daisy. All yeah. right? <laughs> it would be... Oh, it no. Would be. No, I got it. What? Driving Miss Daisy 2, Lonnie Needs a Ride. Okay? <laughs> and it would star me and Idris Elba. Oh, my God. And, Lonnie Needs a Ride. And like I already wrote it out of my mind because it's like Tell you know, me about tell me about it. So about. it's like um Idris character is down on his luck and he's driving Uber now. Yes. And so I'm like an old lady and he an old man and we're gonna be driving around. We can make it happen, Izzy! Oh my god. I would really love coming to America. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Favorite movie of Did all time. Did they move to America? Yes. I think that's a good question. Did they have royal Russian. kids? Yeah. Or I could do mahogany, me and Idris. Oh. Oh my, God. God. Oh my goodness. Guys. I would be Diana Ross, so. <laughs> I would totally want to be in a sequel to. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. I would totally want to be in a sequel to Steel Magnolias. My oh, favorite yeah. movie of all time. <laughs> Do you guys think they would cast me as a southern white woman? No. They, they could have asked an American version of that. Uh, they they did. Did. Yeah, they a did. Lifetime. Yeah. Queen so Latifah they... was in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they could do a Latina version. Yeah. That would be good. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. It's Kid Day here, and we've got some sick DJs. Amira and Kayla in the house. Yeah. Thanks for giving us the beats, girls. All right, so let's get right back into more girl chat. With President Obama's term as commander in chief coming to an end, there's a question of what he's gonna do with all his free time now, right? Mm -hmm. So at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, he posted a super funny video about it. Take a look. What am I gonna do in DC for two years? You love sports. Why don't you volunteer to work for one of the teams around here? Is this the Washington Wizards? I understand you're looking for some coaching help. Let's just say I coached my daughter's team a few times. Hello. Hello. He's so funny. He really he's got is. such a great sense of humor. I love yeah. it. So as you can see, he's got a lot to think about. Mm -hmm. Lonnie, what do you think President Obama should do when he leaves the Oval Office? Like, let's give him some ideas. Well, I do know that um, he has said that, and he's he's always a good jokester. He says he's going to sleep three to four months. So I agree with that. Get yes, that rest. is true. Yes. You yes. deserve it, Mr. President. And then I think he should do something relaxing, like needlepoint or knitting. Wow. You know, can you imagine how much money he can make? A presidential oh. needlepoint? He would come up, okay? Obama hit me up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not needlepoint. But he needs yeah. to do something. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna just, you know, go out on the speaking circuit. Yeah. He's gonna work with Michelle, mm -hmm. um, the first lady, and things like that. And he still has two daughters to raise. Yeah. So he's got plenty of work yeah. ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Get some quality dad. Time I, hope, I hope as a family they go on an amazing vacation without yeah. a bunch of paparazzi and people watching right. them where they can actually just chill. And then he should come home. He should go to the bodega and get mad snacks, right? <laughs> and then he should lay up in bed and watch, you know, a marathon of the real. Yeah. That's what I spend my time on. Okay. You ever had, like, good snacks in your bed and bomb TV to watch and Girl, just yes. chill? Yes, yes, when you catch up. Yes. Veg out. Well, I kind of I kind of want to see him at the club. Let's go to the club. <laughs> Why? Cuz I cuz he's cut got it. moves. Cut it. Cut I know he got it. Yes, he does. He got it. I can yeah, see that, that too. Loose. Huh? That he would let loose. That he would let good. loose. There'd be bottles everywhere. There'd be fun times, yes. good times. He would even a picture like that. Yes. <laughs> and I would love to see what he would wear. Like what would President Obama wear to a club? Because oh. I can't picture him in everyday clothes. You know he liked the mom jeans, so I don't you know. know. No, 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 he, he, he actually, he, he joked about 
about that. At the yeah, he dinner. does. He wears mom he jeans. He is aware that he does wear mom jeans. I see? Picture, though, can the president actually bust skinny jeans at the White House? Like, somebody's going to judge if he went too trendy. Yeah, like, if he did, like, ripped skinny jeans, Come like on. a tee and a, and, a, and a leather jacket. I'm here for it. You are? Girl, of I course. just don't know what he would look like in You know it. what? We should invite him. You know what? Yeah. Okay, this is what we need to do. Yeah. Okay. You know, when you go back out on tour, we're going to invite him to your concert. I'm going to invite him to my place, and okay. we're going to invite him to come here and be with yes. us. Yes. 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 Now, we've had some amazing kids on the show so far this year, from budding businessmen and women to shoe designers and chefs. But we haven't had a good old-fashioned talent show we yet. Have. Yeah. Yeah. Kids. Yes. Our first talented kid hails from Fairfax, Virginia. Please give a warm welcome to six-year-old Steven. I started at gymnastics when I was five. Five? And you're six, so it's been a year. You've got a lot of experience then, okay? <laughs> what do you like about gymnastics, Stephen? Um, we get to work on skills, P-bars, high bar, vault, floor, track, and, and mushroom. All right! Wow. Okay! High five on that! Wow. So cool. Cool. Now, explain to me, what are you going to do for us right now? Mushroom. Why do you like the mushroom? It's, it keeps you strong. Oh, oh that's so cool. It does. Okay, I can deal with that. Well, I want to see, see the strong, strong mushroom. Okay. Yeah. yeah, all right, DJs, let's get some gymnastic mood music. Steven, you ready to pop it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show us what you got. For me to do it though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Stephen, how do you feel about the Olympics? Um, very good. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Okay. Are you excited to watch it? Yeah. All right. Well, we are excited and we just love you. Will you come back again? <laughs> well, Stephen, why don't you hang out with us, okay? Because we have another act, okay? So you're just gonna hang Stay out right with here. us. Okay. Next up is a dance crew from West Covina, California. They're dancing to a track that DJ Amira and Kayla produce. <laughs> so give it up for The Lab. Performing together? Three years. Three years. Three years right. of wow. 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 What are your favorite parts of performing? Oh. Um, just expressing our feelings about each other and dancing as one unit. Oh. Nice. Right. Okay. I. Now let's see. 
Steven, we know you love gymnastics and the men's national team, so we reached out to some of our friends there and they sent over a video for you. Take a look. Look right there. Hey, Steven, I just wanted to check in and say what's up. I saw a gym video of you, and I have to say that you are one phenomenal gymnast. You keep working hard like that, you're going to end up in the Olympics one day. And I also got word that it is also your birthday. So I just wanted to wish you the best and keep working hard. Wow, well, little pumpkin, happy birthday. And guess what, darling? We're going to be making you an honorary member of the real We Got You a Jacket! Are you going to put it on? Yes. 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 There you go, boo. Do you like it? Steven. And to oh our God. dancers, to our dancers, oh we know you love dancing, and we had a very special guest stop by our studio the other day, and he had this to say to you guys. The Lab, I love what you guys are doing. Congratulations on your first TV performance. Continue the blood, sweat, minus the tears. Congratulations. You know what, you guys? Wait, that's not all. You're all getting tickets to a taping of So You Think You Can Dance, The Next Generation. The show premieres on May 30th at 8 p.m., 7 p.m. Central on Fox. What do you guys think about that? Uh, Thank you. you. <laughs> Our next guest grew up in front of the camera on Who's the Boss? Then she became a good witch fighting evil and charmed us all. Now she's casting spells as a judge on Project Runway All-Stars. Please welcome Alyssa Milano. Thank you. So excited to have you. All right, well, you started acting at a really young age. How did you get your start? Um, actually, it's kind of a crazy story. I, like I a was crazy story. <laughs> <laughs> I my parents took me to see the play Annie when I was seven years old, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I looked at the stage and I said I could do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so my babysitter took me up for an open on Annie audition. What? Mm -hmm. Yep. And 1,600 kids were there, and four were picked out of the 1,600, and I was one of the four. Wow! wow. Crazy. Wow. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. No. They had no clue. Without their permission. Without their permission, and then it turned into a whole, like, they didn't want me to do it, and I locked myself in my room, and oh, I said, this, wow. is, this is my dream. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do this. So I had a really good experience. I mean, Yes, because I'm obsessed over Samantha right now. I don't know what to do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly the same. Yes. I do? Yes, yes. you oh, do. That's very nice. What is the fact? Well, you look amazing. Thank and you. you also have two kids. I do. I have two babies. Milo's almost five, and Isabella, who is two. I have a two-year-old, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are my babies. That's Milo and Elizabella. Do they get along? They do. They're so sweet together, and he Beautiful. is so smitten. He is so in love with her. Everything she does, he goes, Mama, isn't my sister cute? Aww. I mean, we'll see what happens when she starts taking his toys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But as of right now... They're great. That's yeah, that's awesome. Awesome. Oh um, You almost had to kind of like remind me that you have two kids because your body is amazing. Oh, very yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Oh it's a lot of work. And and it, it really is a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. How great. were you able to lose the weight? Well, I gained 55 pounds with what? both of my pregnancies, yeah. and the weight came off pretty easily with the first one. The second the, one. What? Yes. Yeah. What is <laughs> <with> that? <laughs> I know. It's like. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, it's like the yeah. God's cruel punishment yes. of like, oh yeah, you think you're gonna get that? But, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so no, I started cutting carbs, right? And I okay, lost yeah. like the first 30 pounds and then I hit a lull. Mm -hmm. And I sort of enlisted Atkins because they're like okay. the best with that to help me lose the last 20 and sort of come up with my, my happy weight, which okay. I reached a couple of months ago. Yay. And, uh, yeah. Yay. Great. Thank you. Yeah. And it's 
you know, it's been great. And I'm super active. I work out a lot. Yeah, it's awesome. great. Shows. Awesome. Thank shows. you. Yeah. Now, you frequently participate in Throwback Thursdays on Instagram. I love it. And since it's Thursday, we thought we would play a little game with you. Okay. We're going to call this hashtag TBT Tales. <laughs> We're going to show you a photo that you posted, and you'll tell us the tale behind it. Okay. So, let's see it. Oh, gosh. I want to see. <gasps> that looks like Oh, Prince. my gosh. Wait. We are on stage. Yes. What's that? Yes. Yes. So, I am on stage nine months pregnant with Milo, oh. with Prince, and it was, like, one of the most special nights of my entire wow. existence. So, he oh, kept looking great. at me throughout the night and singing to me. Ooh, which was like, That's I couldn't. <laughs> okay. And then one of his, I don't know, a roadie or someone came over and said, Prince would like for you to go on stage and dance with him. Oh my and God, that wow. is so cool. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, oh no, 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 no. I can't, I can't do that. And my husband was like, you will go on stage yeah. right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. right now. But at the end of this, this number, he came over to me and oh. he gave me <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is so this cool. For Milo. Yeah. That is so, so awesome. This is Easy. his tambourine, and he gave it to my son, so I keep it in a very special place. And I know you guys are all Prince fans, so I wanted yes. to bring it. We all want to touch it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Milo is going to think that is the coolest thing the when he ever. grows up. I know. Yes. I know. I'm super excited wow, to. Wow, I just wanted uh, to touch phenomenal. it. Phenomenal. Oh, dress your child up in something completely adorable and think, oh, I wish they made this in my size. Any of you? Yeah. Kids these days are looking flyer than ever, and today we have some easy ways for you to match their fly and their fierceness. We're keeping it all in the family. This is Mom and Me Couture. Yeah. Okay, brace yourselves, people. We've got the most in-demand models walking the catwalk today. So let's see who's first. That's right. What's more fun than dressing your child up for a formal event? Matching your sweet little one at a formal event. Come on out and show us your style. for any formal affair, and Tamar is rocking this satin top. Pantsuits are super on trend right now for women. Not only are they incredibly stylish, but if you show up wearing this look, you're bound to be the center of attention. Woo! Pair these two looks together, and you've got the fiercest mommy and me fashion duo uh! ever. Logan's suit is from J. Crew. That's right, Logan, show up that suit. Yeah, Logan. His suit is from J. Crew, and Tamar's pantsuit is by Alexander Wang. Woo! Thank you, too. Can't wait to see you at the next big party, Logan. Bye bye. 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 He's so cute, oh I gosh. can't stand it. Okay, our next look is for a more casual play date. You don't want to be too dressed up while your kid is running around getting messy, right? Mm -hmm. And with these matching looks, no one will be asking, which one is yours? So, come on out and show us what you got. styled for a casual day out at the park with friends, both her age and Aiden's. These loose fitting jeans are super hot right now, guys, and super comfortable for chasing around the little ones. Pair with practical heels, a stylish cardigan, a t-shirt, and you've got all the flair you need to turn the rest of the mom's heads. Mm -hmm. There's four cameras. Yay! Now, Aiden, of course, is paired perfectly with matching jeans, t-shirt, and cardigan of his own. And yo, check out his cute kicks, you guys. I know! Right? <laughs> They're the trendiest mom and me on the playground. Absolutely. Tamara's and Aiden's cardigans are both from Zara. You two are adorable. Yes. We want to come play. Bye. 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 Bye
Bye. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Guys, our final look is for when you're just that cute and ooh, you know it. Sometimes all you need to coordinate is a matching fabric. So we can't wait any longer, you guys. Come on out. For summer, it's soft and lightweight, making it a favorite among the baby circuit. Now, Auntie Lonnie is perfectly coordinating in this chambray jumpsuit. Now, even though the outfit is an identical match, the fabric is the same, making it an adorable coordinating ensemble. Araya's dress is from Baby Gap, and Lonnie's jumpsuit is by Ashley Stewart. I absolutely love this! Hi! Bye, Thank Araya. you, too. Now let's take one last look at our mom and me couture crowd.